My name is Gene Marks and I run the Marks Group. We're a 10-person uh, technology consulting firm outside of Philadelphia. How cold and cruel the world can be, right? I mean, I, I thought uh, that everybody would be loving me and would be my friend and be my partner. And I remember, uh, you know, when I was leaving to join up with my dad, everybody was very romantic. I was, oh, he's going to a startup and that's so cool. And we're right behind Eugene and we're whatever. And I, I thought all my connections in the world of KPMG and all the clients that I knew in the Philadelphia area, people would be knocking on my door with opportunities to implement the software that we were selling. And uh, I thought wrong. Uh, there was not that, you know, that kind of love. I mean, people actually were not thinking about me all the time. Can you believe that? So uh, I, I just learned that it's a very cold, hard world out there. And I always tell it to people when you're going to start up your own business, uh, you better expect it to be a, be a, have a thick skin because not everybody's going to love you. The hardest thing about starting your own business is um, it, it, the balance that you're looking for um, does not come right away because you need capital and you need time. And um, when you're starting your own business, you have to throw yourself into it 100% to really make it successful. It cannot be a hobby anymore. It is your livelihood. So you have to take it very seriously and you have to make sure you've got the time and the money invested to do it. And for many people, um, that time takes away from their personal life and from their family, from their spouses, from their kids. And if you haven't thought that out in advance or talked about it with your spouse or have a plan for doing that, um, you're going to find that it's, it could be a big, big issue. When people are looking for money, I mean, people think that an idea is, is worthy of money. And ideas are not worthy of money, but you know, money is worthy of money. So if you're going to be looking for money from an outside investor or from a bank, uh, they're in the business of making profit. So you have to put yourself in their shoes and say, okay, well, if I'm going to go to this guy and ask him for money, what exactly is in it for him? Uh, there's plenty of places you can risk money on. Why would you even want to risk it on me? So the reality is, I just have to say that if you're going for any kind of traditional financing, even if it's bank or even it's venture capital money, there's got to be some assets that's going to back it up or else you're going to pay a very, very high rate of return or a very big cost uh, to anybody who wants to invest in you. That's just the reality.